Hi 21 Days to Fitness Friends. This is Anita Stone. I'm going to talk to you today about our day 17. The title is The Truth About Sugar. And this is what I want to talk about about sugar. First of all, your body is equipped to handle some sugar. Your bloodstream needs sugar. But the problem is, especially us in America, we eat too much sugar. We have, you know, obviously Coke and Pepsi and we've got Gatorades and we've got sugary foods. And so the goal with sugar really is to just eat it some in moderation, but the main thing is to eat it with fiber or with protein. And so if you eat fiber or protein with sugar, it slows down the digestion. For example, if I eat a bowl of oatmeal, oatmeal is mostly carbs but it has a lot of fiber in it. So if I put a scoop of brown sugar, which you guys probably do, on your oatmeal, yes, I'm adding sugar, but it's going into my bloodstream very slowly because the fiber and the protein slow the digestion. So if I drink a Coke, for example, all of that sugar instantly goes straight into my bloodstream. So let's say it's going into my bloodstream right now. It's going down through my arm and too much sugar, too much glucose in your bloodstream is toxic to your organs and your body knows that. So your body releases insulin to bring down the, the sugar in your blood. Sometimes it brings it down too much which makes you hypoglycemic and so that's when you start wanting to eat or craving, you start having cravings for food or for more sugar. A lot of times it's for more sugar. And so the goal is to, when we eat sugar, is to uh, make sure that the digestion is slow. So that's why we eat complex carbohydrates instead of simple carbs. We eat an apple instead of drinking apple juice, for example. We uh, put the brown sugar on the oatmeal instead of eating the brown sugar by itself, okay? And, and so that's how we slow the digestion. Then, when the sugar goes into your bloodstream, it goes in slowly. It goes in over time. Then your body doesn't have to release the insulin to, um, to lower your blood sugar. So this is what happens in America. And this happens a lot with school kids. And I've talked a lot about school kids and I even have uh, a whole web page on what kids should eat, especially for school and school lunches and things like that. And if you want a copy of that, email me and I'll send it to you. Kids eat, let's say for their lunch, they eat a sandwich on white bread plus a little Rice Krispie treat plus a yogurt plus a sugar Kool-Aid plus a fruit snack. Okay, so all that sugar goes into their bloodstream. And, and then the bad thing is then high school kids get breaks, you know, in between classes. So then 2 o'clock in the afternoon they go buy a Coke or a Gatorade and then they drink that. Well, if we're constantly putting blood sugar in our bloodstream all day long, what happens is the sugar goes in, the insulin is released to take the sugar down. Two hours later, we put sugar in again. Insulin is released to take the sugar down. Two hours later, we put more simple sugars in. And so if this goes on all day long, all day, all day, all day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, what is that that's releasing the insulin? That's your pancreas. And guess what? A pancreas can wear out. Okay, and so this is what causes diabetes. And so I want you to read the article that I pasted on your written material. It is a really good article. It's the, one of the best ones that I could find about sugar because it tells both sides. And uh, so be sure and read that. And if you have any questions, be sure and write in to me and I'll answer all your questions or find me on Facebook. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks for listening. I'm off to work. Have a great day. Bye-bye.